Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Practical Tutorials. So today in this video I would like to show you one of the important concepts called reference modification by connecting to Mainframe Terminal practically. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and stay connected to the Mainframe and see how it works. Okay, so here you go. I'm connected to the Mainframe Terminal. So you have a COBOL program coding sheet over here and it's always start with identification division program ID environment division and then you give your description data division working storage section and in working storage section you are trying to declare a variable so here I declared a variable WS date then I have month date and year so in WS date I'm trying to pass an hard code value with 1201 and 2014 so first I will try to display this WS date so that it will display entire date structure so then what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to separate uh, date date month and year and store it into these respective variables so how to do that that can be possible using reference modification so the name itself indicates that reference modification so here is it so what you do is in order to capture these two values you should know the starting position and ending position of this or its length so here I know the variable defined the variable defined to this date specific date is WS date WS date 1 comma 2 equal to MN the same way WS 4 comma 2 equal to WS DD WS DD is MS CD MS date MS YY so here in this way this way we capture all these variables and store it into another variables and then the is WS triple five. So this is how a reference modification looks like. Then we'll try to compile the program and uh, try to run it. So what's the program name? R E F M O D, right? So R R E F M O D If it's modification ref mod okay then try to submit it compilation has been completed successfully yes it ended with sub zero then we'll try to run it what is the run okay re oh, I forgot the program name ref mod just give your name program name and what are the values it is expecting do we need to enter any date nothing is needed so just simply remove these comments okay then submit it should end with zero then let's go and see it by going to the spool Yes, I'm into the spool with this particular job. Hey, uh, here it is. So in this way, you can use the reference modification. So the first we enter the entire date, then we have separated with date of month is, date of day is, date of year is, 12-01-2014. So that's how a COBOL programming works uh, and important usage practically about reference modification. So if you want to subscribe my youtube channel so you have a, you have an icon over here just try to please click on this icon to get it to get subscribed and to get an email notification regarding what are the videos i will be posting so that you can stay tuned to youtube channel so once again thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching this videos so have a great and pleasurable day